episode, How to Stay Sane When Life Doesn't Feel Sane. You must read this, book recommendation, a ritual blessing, and more. Stay tuned. Hello! Welcome to the week from hell, where everything computer-related seems to be going wrong. You may be having this problem too, I hope not, but if you are, I've got some suggestions. Here's my five-step process for staying sane when you feel creatively insane, stuck, blocked, blocked, frustrated, blocked, blocked, stuck, blocked, frustrated. <sighs> when you're discouraged, confused, waiting for something to happen, wishing life were different, here's what you can do. Number one, remember that life is not a constant charge of greatness and all of the advice dictates that tell you that you should be constantly on, constantly firing, constantly making things happen, and constantly being your best self, it's wrong. There are days when you just stink, and when life just stinks, and your computer just stinks. There are going to be some days that you're just not feeling great. So be compassionate with yourself. Be gentle. Remember that it's okay to not be on all the time. Number two, give yourself permission to step away from doing. Slow down, rest, relax. I recently took an hour nap and woke up in a puddle of drool telling me that I had really relaxed. I invite you to do the same. What's your version of the drool nap? I find when I'm freaking out, when I'm confused, when I'm lost, when I'm angry, when I'm frustrated, I turn to art. Songs that soothe me, like Peter Gabriel's Don't Give Up. Love that song. Makes me cry every time. Poetry, paintings, books, essays, movies are all great therapy, especially ones you love, ones that inspire you or move you. Number four, get some exercise. Your mind is spinning and your computer is spinning and nothing's working. Go for a walk. Go for a bike ride, play tennis, go swimming, whatever you do to get in your body. Number five, remember your original impulse. What is your guiding principle? What keeps you going? My original impulse is to be fully human and to live a zesty life. So fully human means not being perfect every day. It means taking a nap and letting myself be soft and tender on some days and not so active and on top of it. It's back to school time and it's my favorite time of the year and it always has been since I was a kid. I love being a student and now I love being a teacher. A couple of classes I've got going are open for enrollment. Make writing a happy habit. If you are tired of avoiding your writing and ready to enjoy your writing impulse, you'll want to sign up for Make Writing a Happy Habit. Start September 13th. The Writer Success Group is full. Sorry, no more spaces in that class, but we do have room in the Creative Leap Club, which is great if you're ready to launch a business, launch a blog, if you want to get your writing going. This is a monthly coaching group that I lead. It's one of my most successful groups. Journal Juju is a one-day class I'll be leading in Boulder. We'll be using the city of Boulder as our workshop. You'll love this. It's going to be tons of fun. September 25th. There's still a few spots left in my Curious Paris excursion. It starts October 19th and ends October 25th. We're going to have a blast in Paris. Today's book review is Endings and Beginnings by Ani Liggett, Ph.D. A couple great things about this book. One, Ani was a client of mine in my writer success group and worked for years to get this book done. Persistence was her middle name. She wanted to give up many times, as we often do when we're writing a book. But she didn't, and now I'm holding it in my hands, and I can't even tell you the joy I feel about this, because the second thing that's great about this book is that it's for women who know that their life as they know it is over, but they know that their life isn't over and that there's a lot more left in them. So leaving home, whether it's leaving a relationship, leaving a job, moving on, doing something new, finding a new way that springs from your authenticity, this book 
is a map. Ani is a very spiritual woman. She's wise and kind and calm and she knows her stuff because she did this herself. And in this book she interviews about a dozen women who also made their own journeys leaving home and finding their path to authenticity. Endings, Beginnings by Annie Liggett. I'd like to offer you a ritual blessing to set your school gear off right. I created these for you. Writing taps the mystery. Writing taps the mystery. It's kind of mysterious. What does it mean? I'm bringing back the journal juju giveaway because I love giving gifts on this show. This is this week's journal that I'm giving away. I bought it in Paris. It says on the front, Je vais dans tous les sens, ma vertu est constante. In all the senses, my virtue is constant. I don't know that I believe that, but I do like what it says on the back. It says, Écrire le monde, savourer la vie. Write the world, savor life. So, Here's the deal. You leave a comment below and I will choose at random from the comments and send the winner this cute little journal. That's it. Part of fall for me is planning upcoming events and things and I'm working on developing new ideas for my show, Juju Infusion. What would you like to see on Juju Infusion? Leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching and thanks for commenting.